Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this particular tutorial video, we'll be jumping right into a brief uh, illustrator trick we can use to up our game on Instagram. Okay, so now many of us happen to be on Instagram where we get to use some highlights. Okay, we are, we are all familiar with highlights and for those of you who don't know what Instagram highlights are, are now, briefly, Instagram highlights are these boxes or these circles we have on our page or on our profile page where we normally see things that easily is like a shortcut to some major aspect of our of our profile. It gives our user, either new or old users, a brief intro or a brief access to certain key points on our profile. You know, it could be like, for example, now here's my YouTube pro, here's my Instagram profile and you can see that I have my YouTube box meaning if you click on this box you have you easily have access to things that I've done on YouTube you know it, it's more like the stories I've done on YouTube just gives you access to my YouTube stuffs things I've easily done on YouTube and the outcomes okay it gives you like sort of shortcuts same thing happens to live sessions and others there are a lot of people who make use of things like um it could be YouTube reviews, referrals, it could be courses you're selling online. But instead of using a flat YouTube icon or sorry, a flat icon in this manner for your highlights, what if I'm going to tell you that you could make it more customizable and in a 3D format? Now, let's say for in this particular tutorial video, we could be using, or sorry, we will be using the review which is commonly used as the stars okay we normally use stars for review purposes so we'll go back to illustrator which we have here now what if i'm to tell you that we could use this in a way of getting a better fix on our youtube sorry on our instagram highlight okay maybe in some of the icons we want to use for, for our instagram highlights we could make it customizable using the flu 3d um, method that we that we're going to be using here in today's uh, uh you know in today's uh, tutorial session now here we already have our blended tool okay here we already have our blended tool in this place we already have our blended tool here okay now if you don't know how to create this blend on illustrator the link on where you can get the video which i've done here on my, on my, on my youtube channel will be placed in the description uh, of this particular video how you can get this particular um, fluid uh, illustration or this particular few fluid, fluid stuff here okay so now to jump right in since we've already created this our fluid stuff okay the next thing we're going to do is just just create a duplicate so we're going to press ctrl c and ctrl f or command c or, and command f if you're using the macbook so you're just going to create a duplicate and the next thing we're going to do is let's bring out our star icon okay so we're going to go over here to our shape tool here here we have our shape so we're going to bring out the star icon so we are going to create a very simple star icon like this. Now we are going to change the fill to empty. Going here, we change the fill to empty by using this in our properties where we go to the fill. Then we change it to empty. Then we make the stroke to be black, okay? Just so that we can see what we are currently dealing with. So let's bring this over here. So now briefly, let's say this is our, um, Let's say this is for our reviews. Let's say you want to put it on your Instagram stories, sorry, Instagram highlights for your reviews. Now we've mapped this out. So the next thing we are going to simply do is we're going to blend, you're going to bring these two together to make it more customizable. Now, when you're creating these, you could use your brand colors, okay? Use your brand colors to create this blend mode. Maybe if your brand is using two colors, maybe let's say you're using yellow and purple as we have here, you could use it if you're using yellow and black or fine if you're using red and yellow red and white whatever is your brand color just make sure you use it for your blend but for your for this your fluid uh, illustration okay so now to create a custom star or a custom uh, review stuff so we're going to just highlight the both of them okay then we're going to come over to object we're going to come over to object then we're going to go to blend then we we'll go to replace pine then wait for some few seconds then when it has been done there you have it so you see you could easily use this to create a custom made star icon for your what for your instagram highlights so you could expand it so let's cut this out now you're just going to wait for some few seconds okay sometimes this 3d stuff usually uh, it's, it's a workload for your illustrator and especially for your PC. So make sure while you're doing this, you do it in a more 
uh, your PC is powerful enough to carry this stuff, okay? So now we'll be able to do this. So let's just easily cut this out. Now look at the beauty of this. Just, just look at the beauty of this. Now imagine exporting this and then you're using it for your Instagram highlights, okay? You're putting it somewhere here using your brand colors. It gives you a more upper edge to your what to being a good graphic designer or someone who just wants to help your client to stand out from the crowd. Okay, so this could be used as a star icon for reviews. Then, depending on whatever you want to do, let's say you want to do something like uh, like this one about maybe you want to create a sort of a link. You could create this on Illustrator. Okay, you could just simply create this on Illustrator, then blend the both of them together, and you have your what your customized link. Uh, highlights that you can use for your Instagram. So this is a brief tutorial that you can use to up your game as a designer on your profile, on your Instagram profile. You could also use it to up the game of your client on their Instagram profile. Using their, making it more customizable is where the brand colors comes in, okay? Instead of using the same colors all around, you could just easily do something like this using their brand colors and you could get something for this for your clients. Now, this is it for today. So until the next time, stay safe and stay healthy and if you want to up your game on graphic design please click any of the video on the screen that you're seeing